According to the UN Environment Status Report of 2017, buildings and construction together account for 39% of energy-related carbon dioxide emissions, one of the greenhouse gases fueling a global climate crisis. And with buildings, that's the easiest low-hanging fruit and the cheapest as well for mitigating these emissions. Because it takes you and I being responsible of how we use the resources around our houses and also how we design this, these buildings to make a quick difference. Uh, the other side as well, the built environment um, changes our behavior or manipulates our behavior. And it's also a good opportunity to manipulate our behavior the right way. So another part of green building strategies is waste recycling. Forced to respond to urgent questions of a rising demand for housing and modern infrastructure on the one hand and a straining planet on the other, the building and construction industry has been steadily evolving, giving rise to the green building's technology, a marriage between profit and sustainability. The client today is much more aware of what is happening uh, in the world. Um, and uh, you will find that a lot of clients you know, are asking about these things. So for instance, if you develop, if one client develops a building that is a green building, respect the environment, um, and another one develops a same size of building um, that is built in disregard to environmental issues. Um, a lot of them, so to say, um, say for instance in commercial offices, just as an example, a lot of the good clients know that the uh, environment uh, is, a, is a big issue and they'll come to, uh, they'd rather be in your building that is um, sustainably built and is sustainable than in the other building that is not. The green building concept has been applied for over three decades now in the developed world, but is a relatively recent development in Kenya. The idea is to build structures that are environmentally responsible and resource efficient throughout their life cycle. Integrated design implies every decision made in the creation of a green building right from the sketches to finish is a reflection of the attitude of the developers, an indication of how far they look beyond the bottom line. A green building is about efficient use of materials. So the more efficient your design technology is in developing, you know, housing or whatever, whatever uh, kind of um, industry um, in, the, in the industry you are, uh, the, 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 the more sensitive you are to the environment. Garden City, this beautiful development north of Nairobi, is one such development that expresses commitment to a green lifestyle. It is a mixed-use development with a shopping mall, residential and office units, and this mall was the first in the region to receive an international green building certification the LEED Gold Certificate. I think for me it's important that I am a part of something that um, works, works with the community instead of against the community. Um, something that works um, with the environment instead of against the environment. Uh, so it's, it's very exciting to be a part of something like that. One thing that I actually enjoy very much about how we built all this in yeah. um, is the idea of being able to work and walk. Um, so you can okay. live here, walk to work, uh -huh. um, you know, walk for your um, leisure activities, walk for your shopping activities. Um, so you'll see paths leading from the um, business park to the residences, yeah. from the residences to the mall, mm -hmm. um, allowing for that, encouraging that. With over 60,000 square meters of retail space, Garden City is Kenya's second largest shopping mall, an enormous piece of architecture that would normally attract huge costs of utilities. Green building best practice takes care of that. At the rooftop parking, 3,300 solar panels generating 1,256 megawatt hours annually help reduce dependence on national grid by over 40%. In monetary terms, this cuts energy costs by over 30 million shillings in a year. Sustainability um, is something that's important um, to, um, I mean, to create a, a positive culture within, in, in and out. Um, and it's something that I think we want to be known for. 
um, a company that's um, sustainable and, and responsible. I think looking forward, um, I don't see that changing. Um, that's the wave of the future. Um, you go to international markets and that's something that's at the forefront. Um, and Nairobi being a cosmopolitan city, is, that's the direction we're headed in. It is evident that green buildings ultimately pay off, not only in their livability, but also in actual financial terms. And as Africa moves to plug in on its housing deficit, there is therein an opportunity to go green.